another thing you and I have talked about before is the corporate narrative and actually the fact that marketing these days encompasses corporate affairs, it usually encompasses internal communication as well. And obviously, you know, the sustainable living plan is the envy of just about every company I speak to. How, how have you been managing that narrative? How do you match marketing to corporate narrative? And how do you manage around the boardroom? Because I also think that's another complexity that we don't usually speak about. So, yes, I, I think, I think I, I'm quite fortunate in the, in the way um, uh, the job is, is, um, is done in, in Unilever. So, yes, I am the, the CMO and I could be a day job in its own right. I also run sustainability, so it's um, social, environmental sustainability, and then internal, external comms, external affairs. And what that's been able to do is have a joined up narrative. So on one side, uh, now you know, wearing my, my, my marketing hat, we changed all the brand positioning um, statements to have purpose put in it, yeah. and what does this brand do to, to deliver the Union Sustainable Living Plan? Um, so we get, get the brand starting to tell the story. And then on, on the sustainability, um, one of the first things I did is close down our corporate social responsibility department. I think, I, think, yeah. I think this is part of the problem, because if you have a, a CSR, a corporate social responsibility department over in one corner, you know, um, doing uh, good stuff. That means everyone else can do the bad stuff, yeah. can't they? Because the, we're negating. No, 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 no. We've got a mainstream sustainability. It's yeah. everyone's job. Um, and also, you don't want marketing in one corner selling more stuff and then sustainability trying to save the planet. So how do we integrate it? So we sort of reworked our business model to have social and environmental sustainability as core. So if you look at our overall vision of our business, it's uh, to grow our business, yeah, we're growth orientated. But while reducing our environmental footprint and increasing our positive social impact, so you know, if we ever get lost, just look at the uh, look at the vision, and um, and that's I think it's very clear uh, for everyone. And then use internal and external um, uh, media and communications to uh, align that message. So, as always, now any internal communication could well end up external. So that yep. makes you think a little bit more sharp. But I find external media a brilliant way of communicating to, to our own employees because uh, uh, if you read it in the press, it must be true, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's not, it might not be true if it's an email from Keith Reed, but yeah. if you read it in the New York Times or Financial Times, then yes, that must be true. Uh, and so uh, I, I think using media to also communicate to your own team is, yeah. is not a, a bad idea as well. And then bringing that all together so that you have, a, as you say, a coherent narrative for yeah. the company. Um, and the good news is our reputation has grown and grown and grown over the last few years. So it, it has so far, touch wood, uh, seemed to work. And the, um, how does it feel to have won this award, Keith? I mean, people always say they don't like awards, but I know that not to be true. So how, what about this one for you? How does it feel? Uh, I think it's fantastic. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm really, on, on behalf of all the Unilever marketers, uh, really, really thrilled. And, and it, is, it is the Unilever marketers. At the end of the day, uh, I am just uh, the front man as such. That, yeah. you know, all the marketing that's been done uh, around the world um, that I, I'm so proud of. Um, we do a lot of our um, brands with purpose. So, you know, with Dove and self-esteem and, and not just the positioning, you know, they've, they've already uh, helped uh, 20 million uh, girls in, in self-esteem programs or Domestos and toilets yeah. and, and clean toilets and 25 million toilets and sanitation, etc. Or Ben and Jerry's, not only is ethical sourcing, but they're also you know, championing things like um, you know, uh, gay marriage, uh, saving the barrier reef, uh, uh, refugees, etc. Or Vaseline, um, real uh, insight for Vaseline, uh, working with direct relief, uh, relief in war zones yeah. and refugee camps. That you know, if you get a break in your skin, disease comes in pretty quickly, and in those extreme uh, situations, you don't want to get ill. Uh, so keeping people's skin healthy. Um, I can keep going. Um, yeah. uh, a tremendous uh, um, approach to really trying to get brands. Yeah, I say brands with purpose, brands with meaning, brands that matter, brands that have a role in people's lives, um, and um, that's the, what the marketers do all around the world. And I think this is a recognition of, of that work. So. Well, and and uh, WFA couldn't be happier for you, Keith. You're a great representative of what we think marketing should be all about. So thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you very much. Good Thanks, Keith. Well Cheers. done. Great talking to you. Thank you.